Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use PowerPoint to create some simple hand-drawn graphics to use in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. In the recent Animate a Flow Chart tutorial, I had created and animated a simple graphic in PowerPoint that I used as a GIF to create an animated flow chart. One of the things that I failed to mention in this particular sample graphic where it says stop, drop, and roll, you'll notice that the arrows appear kind of squiggly, kind of like somebody hand drew them. And I thought it would be fun to share with you how to do that. And then I have a couple other tricks up my sleeve. So a lot of the graphics that you see here, this background, this little squiggle, this arrow, and the chart here, this background chart, those were all created in PowerPoint. And they all appear to be hand-drawn, right? Well, let's just mosey on over. And here I am in PowerPoint, and these are my graphics. Now, yes, I could have taken a screenshot and imported that in, but that wouldn't be any fun, right? Let's just take a look. So I obviously created them and exported them individually, did my drawing paths, and made them into a doodly video. So how do we do this? Let's go back into PowerPoint. And you'll notice these are all, of course, individual elements and in the background. So let's do something similar. I'm going to go ahead and start a new presentation. Now, honestly, the background with those little rings, that was just a happy accident from the AI designer. So if you see a fun background that looks hand-drawn, by all means use it. I'm not going to go over that today. First thing we want to do is get a shape. So we want to go to Insert, and we want to go to Smart Art. And let's just pick one. Let's say we're working on a organization chart today. So here we go. Go ahead and build it however you want if you want to add different hierarchies. We don't want the text or any of that, right? So if you recall from the earlier video, we went to convert, convert to shapes. And once it's a shape, then you can do your fine tuning. So let's take a look at this. See, these are ungrouped, which is fine. So if you right click, you can check format shape. We get our little format shape tool over here. We want to go over, well, we can do fill. We can pick our color if we want. Let's just say we want orange. And it's kind of light. Right here, line. This is the magic one. Right here, sketch style. Because all we want to do is turn it into a sketch. Now, by this one, it has a white outline, so I don't like that. I'm going to change it to black. There we go. We could do the same thing here. So, color is going to be that orange. And I think I turned it down a bit. And then I did a sketch. We could use a different sketch line. And again, make it black. Now we could use the format bar and then just format paint. And there we go. We have our little hand-drawn graphic. At this point, you could right-click it, choose Save as Picture, and then save it as a PNG file and then bring it into Doodly. So what about using the draw tool? We could do that. So let's go back over here and let's just draw an arrow. So go to draw and now you have these tools here. So let's, let's choose draw and let's say we want to draw an arrow. Boink, boink, boink. There we go, we have a hand drawn arrow. We could draw a smiley face next, right? So. I'm just doing this with my mouse. Oops, I don't like that one. And Control Z to undo. And there, turn off the little pencil or pen by clicking draw once again. 
So how do we get these into Doodly? Same thing, right click, save as picture. So let's just call this a chunky arrow. And then we'll do the same here with this guy. Save as picture. Smiley. Going to Doodly. Go to props. Little white plus sign. And let's just bring them in. Now, if we click the little pencil icon here, we can do our drawing paths. So go ahead and click and start following the trail of your pen. Make your path size large enough to uh, show it, actually, to reveal it. Make any adjustments you need and then just keep going. So let's take a look. There we go. Our hand draws our little smiley face that we created in PowerPoint. Then there's one last trick I want to show you, adding a sketch with your phone. So let's go back into PowerPoint and just right click anywhere on your screen. Click Add Sketch. Now this assumes that your phone is connected to your computer in some way. Um, mine is an iPhone, I'm on an iMac, so they all kind of just talk to each other wirelessly and it just happens. So if you have a similar setup, then this will probably work. If you have an Android or Windows, I'm sorry, I, I don't know if it will work or not. So once I do this, my phone shows up with a screen and I have some tools here and I'm just gonna use the basic drawing tool. And now I'm just gonna draw something. So I'll draw a little stick person. Let me erase that little mess up there. And click done. And here we go. I have my little stick person. And again, I can right click, save as picture, go into doodly, go to props, click the blue and white plus sign and drag and drop my little stick woman into place. And then if I wanted, I could do my little drawing paths as I did before. And there's a few different ways that you can use PowerPoint to create some fun hand-drawn graphics to use in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.